Okay, it is March 6th. It's 8.17 in the morning. Um, we're getting lots of different types of attacks right now, including internet blockades. So now my phone um, is completely blocked from the internet. My computer is blocked from the internet now, and so is my phone. So you can see where I tried to post. It says an hour ago, but it was probably longer than that. Or I write that they've been blocking my internet and burning my face, and Chris can barely breathe right now. Chris is having severe, what I would what appears to me to be severe breathing issues, which is kind of predicted actually uh, in a dream. that I had um, right around the beginning of the year. I had this dream where I, Chris couldn't breathe. So since that period of time, Chris's breathing has been severely affected. My breathing has also been affected. But I can recognize it because I don't normally have breathing problems. I definitely can recognize my problems as being externally generated. And at one point, they actually got me pretty good while I was shopping at Fred Meyer's. If I had been, if they had gotten me, you know, for a second or two longer, I would have panicked. I would have gone into a sheer panic because nothing like causing panic than not being able to breathe. They also um, have been interfering with other, other bodily functions. So, for example, maybe I'll try to, you know, go to the bathroom and all of a sudden I can't go to the bathroom. That's done with implants. That happened to me while I was at the emergency room after they asked for a urine sample, right? And I had to go to the bathroom, and then all of a sudden I couldn't go. And that's, um, like I said, that's how I killed my dog. But what's, what about, the thing that's concerning about Chris, a couple things. I mean, anytime somebody's breathing is affected, it's concerning, okay? I'm concerned it's going to have a, a bad effect on his heart, especially since it seems to be going on every day. Um, and then two other things I've observed about his breathing specifically is... First of all, this morning, well, two things. Okay, one is that the way his breathing is being affected, it reminds me of my grandma, my dad's mom, who was the nurse in Seattle. And um, she had smoked in her younger days. And then when she was about Chris's age, I guess she was diagnosed with COPD. And... I don't think she really had COPD. I think she had a generated breathing problem controlled by implants and directed energy. And the reason why I think that is because, first of all, what she had looks exactly what Chris suddenly has. And second of all, um, she was also given what I call fake dementia. I really do believe that her quote-unquote dementia was fake. And when she got the dementia, they all of a sudden she could breathe. She didn't need an oxygen tank or anything anymore. So I've never really heard of COPD suddenly disappearing like that. But I've seen that happen with these some of these directed energy chronic diseases, including dementia. I've seen with my daughter's grandfather. He had He appeared to be losing his memory and having all the symptoms of dementia and that went on for a few months and then it was gone and then he was fine you know he appeared to be fine to me however I found out that something happened during the period of time that he had dementia or he didn't have dementia that he had these memory issues I found out that somebody in the family had him declared incompetent and sold off some of his land that's what I heard um, so that's another thing. If you're diagnosed with something like dementia and you're an older person, whether it's real or whether it's fake, it actually gives other people um, the opportunity to come in and take advantage of you. Um, and I have a feeling that that's a big part of um, giving people fake dementias. Um, and both in his case and in my grandma's case, I think... Like, I, like I've said in an earlier video, three of my four grandparents were diagnosed with dementia at some point, And I believe it was probably all fake dementia. Uh, and then on my mom's side, I don't mean my, you know, my bio granddad, but 
who was killed at age 54 with implants in his stomach through stomach cancer. Um, I mean, um, the man my, my, my grandma married, he was also, and he also had shocks in his head. He had all the symptoms of having implants in his head, including the circuit shocks that we get, some of us get. So, um, this is a huge, 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 big scam, and it's obviously affecting a lot of people. Um, anyway, I'm pretty concerned about Chris. The other thing about Chris this morning that was, um, quite striking was he went and opened the window to get relief, and he felt like the window gave him relief. So what that reminds me of is my cat, Lion, right before she was killed, and she was killed exactly at 4.33 in the morning on April 3rd of 2017. And, um, before that she was having all these breathing problems. And then she went over, she, her breathing problems got worse right before she was killed and she went over to the window to get some air. And then all of a sudden she got this look in her eyes, she ran across the room and then fell over dead with this look of sheer horror on her face. I'm gonna run out of space here so I'm gonna stop this video now.